Lighting up the Saturn V was one thing, but how did NASA steer that colossal, fiery beast, taller than a 36-story building and weighing 6.5 million pounds, precisely towards the moon? It's not like it had a steering wheel. The secret was thrust vectoring, also known as gimbling. Imagine steering a garden hose by tilting the nozzle. That's essentially what NASA did with the Saturn V's mighty engines. On the first stage, with its five roaring F-1 engines, the four outer engines could actually pivot. Each of those outer F-1 nozzles could swivel up to five degrees. That seemingly small movement was enough to redirect a portion of the engine's immense 1.5 million pounds of thrust. By tilting these engines, the rocket could subtly shift its center of thrust, allowing it to turn, pitch, and yaw, correcting its course against winds and staying on trajectory. This ingenious method wasn't just for liftoff. The upper stages, powered by the J-2 engines, also used thrust vectoring. The J-2s could gimbal even further, up to 7 degrees, providing precise control for delicate maneuvers in the vacuum of space, like inserting Apollo into lunar orbit. All of this precise steering during the Saturn V's powerful launch was commanded by the Launch Vehicle Digital Computer, LVDC, located in the rocket's instrument unit. Once the upper stages separated, the Apollo Guidance Computer, AGC, then took over, becoming the brain navigating the command and lunar modules all the way to the moon. So, the next time you see that iconic launch, remember, it wasn't just brute force. It was an incredible ballet of power and precision, all orchestrated by sophisticated computers that literally steered a skyscraper through the sky. Truly a marvel of engineering. So what an incredible look into how NASA steered a rocket bigger than a skyscraper, right? If you found this as fascinating as we did, hit that like button and let us know. We're almost there. We're nearly at 1,000 subscribers. And every single one helps us launch more awesome content. Help us reach that milestone. Make sure you subscribe for more amazing stories about space exploration and the wonders of engineering.